Welcome to the Rapscallions podcast with Stephen, Nick, Dylan, Dustin, and Brandon. Welcome in, ladies and gentlemen, to the Rapscallions podcast, and we are the Rapscallions. Hi, guys. Hello. Como estas? Get on the Oh, I'm sorry. We were just talking how, you know, we, we've been kind of lacking on the sound effects, so, you know. I'm, so expect a lot of yep. random sounds. Yep, I'm coming in strong. <laughs> That's not what this episode's going to be lacking, is sound effects. Ooh. That's for sure. Good tease. Maybe. What Dylan, get those headsets on. Ooh. Hello. Dustin, put that in your mouth. My bad. Mic issue. Put it in your yes, mouth. Sir. All right. Mm. Slowly. I'll swallow even slower. <laughs> Ew. Right. So what? That was I've been gross. thinking about getting a tattoo here lately, guys. I've been debating. I'm getting my first tattoo. You're going to get a W on <clears throat> each butt cheek. So when you bend over, it says, wow. <laughs> and when you do a backflip, it says, wow, mom. Wow. <laughs> I like the pause for a dramatic effect. You know, I try. I do what I do. That was high five worthy, man, right you there. Know. No, but did you guys see um, Tyga made TMZ because he got put under anesthesia and it was like he had five artists do his back and torso. I didn't even know. That's crazy. I didn't even know you could do that. Wait a second. He was put under anesthesia to get his whole body covered in a tattoo. To get his back and his torso what like a, completely tatted, so they um, put him under an, pussy. They put him under anesthesia, and they did it. I didn't even know you could do that. That's crazy to me. Well, I would have gotten can, a tattoo a long time ago if I knew that, that they was. Just, they mean he just did a copious amount of drugs. Or <laughs> you could do that when you're rich, because when you're rich, it is some rich people can, shit. You, you know, you can uh, hire an anesthesiologist. Because you, you, how much does it cost to? Well, the thing is, is that I, I mean. If it's a non-medical reason. Because if it's out of my ballpark. Is that even, like, can you do that? I would do it if it's. Well, cosmetic uh, surgery. That's non-medical. Let's see if it's out of. Well, technically, but it's still, I mean, a doctor, there's still doctors that are performing. It's not a tattoo artist. it's out of my price range. I don't know. It it seems kind of weird. So, it's around $40,000 or more. For what? For, to be put under anesthesia. While doing the tattoo, because you got to pay for oh, the so anesthesiologist it, to be there to to administrate it. Oh, okay. So you can do it then. Yeah. Like I said, you have to be rich. Exactly. You got to have some money. First of all, is yeah. I striked out, man. I ain't, I, I can't mean, do that. I get it. Tattoos are. It, it would be definitely be uncomfortable. But I guess was he trying I mean, to do it in one sit now? It was one sitting. Um, he got his back and torso done. By five different by five different artists did it all at the same time because you can't be put under for too long. I think it's like you only did like four or five hours. Who was this again? Tyga, Tyga, the rapper. That uh, wasn't he already tatted. Yeah, he's already tatted, but he just got his com- like his back oh, completely done I just, and his torso. I guess because he. I guess the. Only, I'm just trying. I mean, to that's fi- very smart. Though. I'm just trying to. If you have the money out, to do it. I'm just trying to figure out why you would want to do it. Why go through the pain? And I guess it's because the pain. Well, yeah, but it's more of You're going to have five different artists doing your back and you want it completely done in one sit- sitting. It's going to I mean, fucking I hurt, it, dude. But it's like, it's one of those things. It's like, it's it's going to be like an annoying pain. That's the know? only reason why I haven't done it yet is because I don't want to fucking have to go through all that pain because I know I want like a sleeve or something. I want like a big piece. And it, like, if I could, I could, well, I can the, obviously now I just looked it up. Well, here's the it's thing. It's out of my ballpark, well, man. Because I fucking I, striked out. It's way too much. So that's a big bag. I have. <laughs> So I have think of another way to say how expensive it is. Yeah, I, know, <laughs> yeah. I have tattoos, and I would say that you know they big tattoos, and the pain level is not. It's not like to me personally. I get I get it. Everybody had, all everybody has a different pain tolerance, but it just seems like for most people I talk to too, it's like it's more of an annoying pain. It's not like an excruciating like I can't take it anymore i've been told that but then i've also had people tell me that it's like needle digging into your skin and it's like because well, I mean, literally, literally, literally what it is you know what i mean literally, it's like, yeah but the needle only it doesn't even go in most of the time it doesn't even go in deep enough to even cause you to bleed now 
you will bleed. You most likely will bleed during a tattoo, but that's because it's over the same spot over and over again. Like general, shading and shit. But general, yeah, because shading is multiple needles. Lines are one needle. Yeah. But like, yeah, that's just. I mean, I don't know. It just seems like a minor inconvenience. But like I said, if you are rich and you have the money to do it, then why not? You know. Yeah. Why not do it? I mean, why not have to like deal with that pain and just get a whole back piece done? Me personally, I would like to think. Like I guess I wouldn't I wouldn't really know until I actually am rich if I am ever get rich or whatever. But I didn't know you could do that though until Tiger me either like had it done. You know, but well, I, I think I would rather <clears throat> save the forty grand to go of, through a little bit of uncomfortably un- uncomfortable. To 40, be a little uncomfortable. Forty thousand is nothing to him. Yeah, he just, discomfort. He, God, he, words, man. I've been having a rough time. A lot of people <laughs> were saying that uh, the pain is part of the process. If you don't endure the pain, then you don't deserve your tattoo. That's deep. Well, yeah, that's. I mean, that's like a ritual. That's a good point. Yeah, Yeah. I mean, but if you have the money to do, that's nothing to him. Forty thousand to to pay for that anesthesiologist and anesthesi. Anesthesia. 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 That anesthesia. I was trying to. I was trying to like cut the word in half. That's a Disney movie. (laughs) I was trying to be lazy and cut the word in half. I was going. I was going to try anesthesia. He's doing that anesthesia. <laughs> yeah, that's anesthesia. That is pretty crazy. He went to anesthesia to get a tattoo. And, and on the, on the other hand, though, too, like, wouldn't you be, like, you know, his buddies are like, bro, you're a fucking pussy, man. Ooh, I, I don't know. know. I would. I I not, they hype him up because he fucking pays all their bills. Everything he does. <laughs> that's right. They ride the they ride the ride, man. He pays their bills, man. <laughs> gonna, they're gonna say that's <laughs> awesome. Yeah. But no, then. I do think it's awesome, dude, honestly, because I would do it if I had the money to do it. Like, why go through the pain if you don't have to? You can just wake up and, and you look cool. Why not do that? I mean, yeah, well, of course it would be do better. You, but you, they, it's also worth, you know. Do you apply that same thing into all aspects of life? Yeah, I wake up and I'm fucking beautiful. So, yes, I do. Yeah. If I could wake up and I don't have to do anything, but I have everything, yeah, that's what I want to do. <laughs> yeah. Is that a fucking question right why, now? Why work for it? <laughs> that is that is pretty crazy, though. Hey, that's pretty good. Hey, that's pretty good. Dusty level. Pretty good. Hey, uh, so, um, no. Oh, okay. No, I got some. I got some pretty interesting things that I think you guys would actually um, want to talk about. Enjoy. Oh, okay. No. <laughs> 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 oh yeah. Let's not all talk about the things that Dustin wants to talk about. <laughs> okay. These. So I was browsing the interwebs, you know, and uh, I'm a uh, like. I'm a history, you know, guy like history. History buff. History interests me, yeah, you know, and so I just thought these were very, very interesting. It's kind of random, um, just things that you don't really think about, you know. What are they, Stephen? Random facts. <laughs> <laughs> okay, See, let's, let's move you know, on to Stephen's rando. Yeah, you notice how I avoided the word facts because I knew Dylan would jump in and be like, "Hey, what the? Fuck? You're moving <laughs> in on my turf, buddy." <laughs> just a random. Facts, you know. Now these are like, these are, but these, see these are short term. See, because Dylan he brings you the facts and he gives you great detail. He brings you the facts that you want to hear, and he goes into depth about it and he tells you everything. Stephen you brings you know. the facts that you need to hear. Oh shit! Fucking alcohol abuse. Damn Party it. foul. Damn it! I spilled my beer. You picked it up in clear daylight, and you spilled it. Can't you talk? All right. Let's uh let's move past the yes I spilled my beer accidentally that was unfortunate but uh dumbass. let's move on past it <laughs> thank you <laughs> I'm move. a piece of shit <laughs> fucking new guys <laughs> and boy are his arms tired all right so I would like to what? um <laughs> okay <laughs> what uh, I would like to bring this to everyone's attention according. To some scientists, the human who was going to live to 200 years old has already been born. <laughs> Say it again, dude. Okay. I'm too high for this. I took two dabs before we started uh, this thing. All right. So let me slow it down. <clears throat> uh, 
Just say Some it again. Just say it again. Scientists. <laughs> I didn't hear the question. Just say it again. <laughs> well, he really a, didn't hear it because it's not a question. Yeah, it's just yeah. A, yeah. It's According a to some scientists, the human who is going to live 200 years has already been born. So basically, there will obviously there will be a time where because of advances in technology and medical science and all that, the it's natural that the age the age um, expectancy will will rise. And so they predict that according to how technology is now and medical science is now, and it's very likely that the first person to live 200 years has already been born. I call bullshit. Who fuck said that? Some scientists. I don't fucking, Didn't you fucking know. Re- <laughs> Didn't you hear it? Some yeah, science. some scientists okay. told me to take okay. the fucking shot. According too. to scientists from Stanford University, which is a pretty you know prestigious uh, you know yeah place, I would say yeah. I thought this was something to do about history. The person who will live two hundred years. No, I said I'm a history buff. So what is that? What the fuck did that? Have to I just do wanted. That's a fun fact about me. <laughs> yeah, he was giving facts. He just wants yeah. you to let let you in on something about himself. Yeah, duh. Well, in a way, it is history because if a person lives to two hundred years, that will make history. Ooh. But so they're predicting the future. So yeah. So no. Yeah, they're straight up predicting that shit. According. To, so from Stanford University, the person who will live to two hundred years old has already been born. Although it might sound crazy. Because they don't know. It is expected that at some point there will be enough advancements in medical technology and genetics that will likely help to further prolong the human lifespan. I'm way sure. past the life expectancy we are familiar with today. I'm sure they said that 30 years ago, too. No, it's, dude, it's fucking obvious. The, think about the, what's the life expectancy in, in uh, fucking 1750? Like 30, 18. 30 or 50. Okay, so what's the life expectancy in 2023? 14. <laughs> No, it's actually seventy like, to eighty. It's eighty-two, I believe, right now. It's like thirty. So, well, most people die in their seventies. My point is, is that it's expected that as the technology advances and medical science advances, that the life expectancy will <coughs> also increase. Yeah. Makes sense. I would, I would believe so. Yeah. And you better believe that they definitely are doing everything they can to make sure people live longer, because they're sick of you, motherfuckers. Retiring and getting on Social Security. Yeah, you fucking lazy fucks. You, n- m- before you know it, the retirement age is going to be 165. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're, you're fucking with their slush fund. <laughs> All right. The longest traffic jam in history. There you go, down History. Lasted 12 days and stretched for 62 miles on China's national highway. Oh, well... I could have guessed it would have been China. National Highway 110 in August of 2010. Things got so bad that people stuck in traffic developed a mini economy of overpriced food, water, and cigarettes. So it lasted 12 days, so people were actually trading and bartering cigarettes and water and shit. (laughs) I mean, that's pretty fucking bad. At what point would you just be like, I'm just going to walk home and uh, we'll call a tow truck to get this taken care of. Yeah. At what point would you guys admit that you guys are bad drivers? They got that many lanes and it was backed up that long. Well, yeah, when there's that many people. So we're looking at a picture. I know it's bad audio, but we're looking at a picture. There's a picture associated with this little fact. And, yeah, it's one, two, three, four, five. About 20. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten lane highway. It's a ten lane highway. Shut completely down 10 lane highway that is 100 percent in gridlock that is insane what, what caused it just the amount of people or you so we all something? know how they drive okay so here's the so the reason behind the chaos well it was a combination of road construction maintenance work and increased freight traffic due to an increase in coal deliveries to beijing additionally Unusually heavy rain caused some sections of the road to become impassable. So it was a combination of a bunch of things, actually. I see why they started COVID. The traffic jam was so severe that what? <laughs> Get rid of some of them fucking people, man. <laughs> I mean, we, we, the traffic... I have to say this because the last three comments by all of us have been very, very bad. Very, very racist, if you ask me. 
We don't we're, xenophobic. We don't get racist here. The traffic jam was so severe that some drivers reported only traveling 0.6 miles in a day. Just a little over half a mile in a day. So not only are they stuck in traffic, but they're all also now unemployed. Didn't show up for work 13 yeah. days straight. Yeah, that's how. Yeah. Damn. And they're all doctors. Their fish are dead. So, <laughs> <laughs> so nobody. Uh, reminds me of that Family Guy episode, you know, where the, the little Asian kid's playing the piano. And his mom comes in, or his dad comes in. Hey, you doing piano yet? Are you doctor yet? <laughs> yeah, doctor yet? Don't yeah. come out to your doctor. Yeah. <laughs> All right. No, my first thought was the other Family Guy clip <clears throat> of that Asian lady merging in traffic. <laughs> <laughs> She's on the inside lane. My exit coming up. I'm going to move over with no blinker. Good luck, everybody else. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and then I'm going to leave my blinker on for... 46 miles. I turn now. <laughs> I turn now. All right. The entire city of Whittier, Alaska lives under one roof. The whole city lives in one building. One one family makes up this city? No, it's just a, a single homestead. <laughs> it's a an apartment building pretty much. Bro, I'm going to run out of facts you keep doing this shit. <laughs> No, this is... Hey, hey, settle down. There's plenty of facts <laughs> yeah, to go around. There's a, yeah, exactly. Plenty of facts to go around. So, just a little, you know, a deeper dive into this. Um, if you ever decide to visit the small town of about 219 people in Whittier, Alaska, you will enter through a one-lane tunnel. And if that isn't weird enough, most of the residents live in this one condo. Where you can see the whole town from the top floor. This building yeah, even the building is the whole town. Yeah, this building even has a grocery store and other amenities inside. It's like you never have to leave. Oh God. It's pretty creepy, right? Actually. It's like think a about fucking it. Prison. So why the fuck would you go visit that town? Yeah. I want to go see this one apartment building in the middle of Alaska. That reminds me. This is a side note. There is a town I wanna say it's in Norway, maybe. It's a like a cold country, you know. I think it's in Norway. Oh, one of those. And huh? the entire town lives on one street. Like everybody lives on the same. There's only one street. The entire town is one street. So everybody lives on this one street. All the houses are on this one street. Is it Businesses. Called, <clears throat> everything. Is it called One Street? Yeah, that's what the name of the. No, I don't know. What, I can't remember stop. what the name of the town is, but it, it just reminds me of that. But uh. Look it up. Google it. What? I was talking to listeners, Dustin. <laughs> I was doing it for you, dude. Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, here we go. You know what's funny? I just wanted to bring this up real quick because uh-huh. it pertains to what we were talking about. But you know what's funny is you hear about them foreigners that come and they be trying to like negotiate at like Walmart and shit, trying to negotiate the prices, <laughs> yeah. talk well, them down. I give you five dollars because that's real over. Well, like, well, yeah, in those, that's what they're used to. So Six fifty to haggle. Well, you know, they go to usually it's like a market, a marketplace where you know vendors come and, and yeah. Then Cali, bring they their do shit. that. In Cali, they do that. They don't put prices on their vending. Uh, vend, like the vendors don't put prices up just just for the fact that when like tourists come, like they don't know the prices, so they can overcharge the like the tourists in the area. You know what I mean? Well. So well, like yeah. the like the like the people who live there know like you're fucking highballing them, so they're like, "Hey, give me this for this price," and then like the tourists are like, "Oh, that's price." Okay, well, I, I have to do of, it. Well, yeah, but uh, I was thinking of more just like haggling. You know, they like, "Hey, this is the, this is the price," and so I mean, I guess that makes sense if you're used to that. You know, you go to Walmart and do the same thing. Hey, come over here. Yeah, this says the price tag says uh, two dollars, but uh, what do you guys? My friend George Washington says it's all right if it's yeah. just a dollar. <laughs> <laughs> My friend Mr. Washington here. Dustin, I know I know you knew this. Due to exponential growth, folding a piece of paper in half 42 times would make it reach the moon. You knew that. That's bullshit. <laughs> 
<laughs> I did. Knew it. He's the one who figured that out. Yeah, and D- Dustin actually he he told folded me, the fucking paper. Yeah, he told me this. So, D- and this is verbatim from Dustin. The mm-hmm. reason why folding a piece of paper in half forty-two times would make it potentially reach the moon is because of exponential growth. When you fold a piece of paper in half, you double its thickness. If you keep doing this, the thickness grows very quickly. By the time you reach 42 folds, the thickness of the paper would be over 4 trillion times its original thickness. This means that it would be tall enough to reach the moon, which is approximately 238,800 or 238,855 miles away. And I'm like, damn, Dustin, how did you know exactly how, how far away the moon is? And he was like, hey, I just know shit. And then uh, he said, however, I it's do. physically impossible to fold a piece of paper in half more than seven to eight times due to limitations of its size and el- elasticity. So Trust drew, me, I tried. Yeah, and he drew this conclusion because... He says that technically it's impossible to overdose from weed because you can't physically smoke enough of it that it would take to get high. To kill you. So therefore... I mean, not to get high, to overdose. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> so he used his pot logic to come to this conclusion. So, so Dustin, all my fucking logic. teachers saying that smoking pot wouldn't get me anywhere, you're wrong. Yeah. <laughs> How did you It learn got that? me this conclusion. How did you learn that? Because I smoke weed. <laughs> I smoke and I know things. Yeah, I smoke and I know things. That's what I do. <laughs> All right. That's, I got one just more. Just like the starting off with a penny. You double it every day for a month. Eventually, you'll end up with like a million dollars. Yeah. If you start young enough, if you like. But that's assuming that you can magically it. magically appear that money. Yeah, right. to be able to double but it. Yeah. Still, in, in theory. Yeah. Yeah. Also, <coughs> did you know every two minutes we take around 3.5 million photos worldwide, which is more pictures than all of humanity took in the whole year or in the whole 19th century? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Mm. I know. <laughs> which makes sense. That's just simply. Yeah. Technology wasn't there yet, you know. We didn't have camera phones because it used to take a hell of a lot longer to take a picture than you mm-hmm. know than it does now. Yeah, you, know, you got to sit in the same chair mm-hmm. doing the same pose for like thirty to minutes to an hour for like three days. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's so yeah that that that. So there was no like, uh, ew. Let's take another one. Nope, because then you you better be. I hope you have time, buddy. You know, no startovers. Yeah, you'll be sitting there for a while. Oh shit! You know what? I blinked more than I wanted to. I wanted to blink four hundred times, but instead I blinked three fifty. So we got to do, redo that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, there. Just spitting out these, you know, this knowledge. Right, there is a jellyfish species. In the Mediterranean, that is considered biological. Oh, you know what? This is a Dylan Rando fact, so I'm going to skip right through this because he's already well explained this. God, you're, you're yep. so good, Dylan. You're just, you're, you're him. Has anybody told you that? Timothy Turner. Hemi Neutron. Hell yeah. Hemi him. Butler. Yeah. He is yeah. him and you are him. I'm him. He is him. I've been saying it. Thank you. For the acknowledgement. Okay. Here's something that wasn't on Dylan's Rando, though. Humans share 50% of their DNA with bananas. You're half banana. I'm a banana. <laughs> B-A-N-A-N-A. I did know that one. Humans and bananas do in fact share about 50% of their DNA. This occurs because all living things on Earth share a common ancestry and use DNA to store genetic information. Over time, as different species evolved and branched out from the common ancestor, some parts of their DNA remain similar due to the natural selection and the conservation of certain genes. While humans and bananas are very different in many ways, they they also have some genetic similarities that have been conserved. 
throughout evolution. Yeah, it's like when... Science. Science. Oh, Killer was in... <coughs> what? At school for nursing. They practiced stitching on bananas. Oh, is that why they did it? Got, because 50% of the shared DNA? <laughs> I don't know why they did it. <laughs> what they did it? I guess it's similar to stitching skin. Yeah, maybe the peel resembles human skin. Or she yeah. was just like, fuck it, we're using a banana. She just had a bunch of shit ton of bananas at her house. And was like, yeah, I'm just going to let them stitch these bitches. All right. Um, I think you guys have had enough of my... Info. Yeah, I wasn't feeling it. Yeah, you know, I, I, you weren't, but hopefully, I would I like was. to think that some people and were. the listeners was. Hopefully, the listeners were, you know, pretty into it. It was, or maybe not quite enlightening. Yeah, quite. Yeah. So, since we did your facts, are we still going to do Dylan's facts? Nope. Yes, we are. Okay. okay. We're not. Mm. Yes. No, I don't want to do them. Now. Yeah. No. <laughs> no, I'm not going to do them now. <laughs> I hand the torch to Steven. No, nope, because clearly it. he's so fucking good at this. Yeah. Well, you know what? Speaking. Okay, just. Does anybody have anything that they would like very much so to uh, talk to, about? To talk about. Yes. You guys. I'm looking directly at Dustin because <coughs> I know he's gonna go ahead. You, the floor is yours. All right, man. Okay. Did you guys see um, fucking Kid Rocks in the news again? You know how he was boycotting Bud Light. Yeah. Shot the Bud Light? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, um, they caught him sipping a Bud Light. (gasps) And it was on video. (laughs) He's a phony. He's a big, fat phony. (laughs) He couldn't resist that um, tranny oil. So. (laughs) Nice. (laughs) He got caught. Really? Is that really? That's the story? Is that he was caught drinking a Bud Light? After boycotting, yeah. (laughs) <laughs> He's getting a lot of fucking blowback from it. Like that is hilarious. All of his fans are coming at him. Like, what the fuck, dude? Like, stay true. Be you, bro. Yeah. Hey, you know what? It was probably free. Yeah. And it's still beer. I mean, beer's fucking beer. You know. Yeah, you're thing? right. But he did. He he did also boycott it. So like, he, he did. caught drinking well, it a couple see, months later. Yeah, I get that. Kind of like <laughs> some of the fans are gonna be like, nah, what the? Not fuck? even the fans. Just I don't the even... people being like, what the fuck, dude? Yeah. What are you doing? Yeah, like be fucking. So that was all it. for publicity, pretty much. That's what I'm. That's what I'm thinking. That's what everything is. Well, yeah, but again, the idea of boycotting is to get what you want out of it. He was he was just trying to get headlines. So it's not that he got what he wanted out of it. He got the publicity out of their it. services or yeah, use their products again. Well, uh, but there are some instances where that's kind of the end. That's kind of the purpose. Yeah, the uh, so that they no longer exist. They're no longer around. They no longer exist. Like if somebody, oh, I don't like the way you know Walmart does their business or they did something i'm not i refuse to do there are people out there who be like i'm never shopping at Walmart. company's been shut down because of boycotting and stuff like that you know right but at the end of the day you boycott them because there's an end goal there yeah he got he got publicity got headlines that's the only reason why he did it i feel like and he wanted to he knew that his fans his demographic was gonna like they were gonna love it, Eat so he did exactly up. what the fans wanted, and then he got caught a couple months later drinking the shit that he was very well shooting in a fucking field. You know, you guys see that well, video? How, how do you think he got in that field? He walked. He paid for it. The beer yeah. got in that field because he used his money to buy it to then shoot it up. Yep. Unless he stole it, Ooh. that would have been some real ass <laughs> shit if he stole it. <laughs> All right, so. Go ahead. We're gonna we're going right into. Uh, no, hold up. We gotta talk about something. Oh, okay. You silly, dirty hooker. All right. Okay. You so silly goose. There's this post. Okay. Submitted to Reddit on the sub forum. Forum. Am I an asshole? This uh, apparently this man had a wife <clears throat> who had a terminally ill disease and was given nine months left to live. So, so, 
So he asked her, you know, what's like, what's your you know, dying, you know, your last wish dying that wish. you want to do. And you know what? This woman's dying wish was to get dick down. Bro. Yes, actually. Doesn't half right. But she wanted to sleep with her ex one last time. What? Yeah. Yep. All right. Well, here's your divorce papers. Yeah. Uh, you can die alone. Yeah. What's your dying wish, honey? I want to. I want to fuck my ex. <laughs> yeah, better dick. <laughs> like what the fuck, bro? Wow. You could tell she's been really missing that dick. Then uh. That is. My wow. dying wish is to fuck my ex. Gosh, man, that's such a fucking like. What do you do? Hard you know, pill to she's swallow. She's dying, but she yeah. Just do you do you do said, do you, you do you go do it? Do you go get her ex? You know, <laughs> yeah, dude. No, I don't think you do. But like, is it? Do you do you late dump the bitch? But it's like if you, I mean, you know, you love her though, even though well, obviously, obviously don't love. Her, <laughs> yeah, that that's a hard uh, situation. I mean, to say somebody doesn't love you just because they. I mean, it's because they want to well, yeah, fuck sex their is, ex. Well, that's but it's not just because she wants to have sex with her ex. She's dying. This is your husband asking you. He will do anything for you in the world, and you slap him in the face by telling him you want to fuck your ex. Yeah, that is pretty disrespectful. Yeah. <laughs> now that Brandon has put it like that, I fuck. I'm on his side. I, this bitch should die quicker. Yeah. Just I'm team fuck that bitch. Die quicker. Fuck it. He should just kill her. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, that's that brought down the that brought down the vibe, bro. Dude, <laughs> just... right, man, that's fucked up, man. I hope your well, facts ain't this depressing. Let me, let me bring the vibe back up because in 2004, Steven Seagal released a dance hall song called "Strut," and he sings in a fake Jamaican accent. And one of the first <laughs> lines is "Me want the punani," which is you can't make that. We shit have to up. make They're that very. Yeah. Hilarious and yes, you cannot make that shit up. We have to put that song. In yeah, the we're links. gonna we're gonna put a disc- we're gonna put it in the description on YouTube. So if if you want to see this Steven Seagal music hit, <laughs> you go you go to go, go go over to our YouTube and yeah, it'll definitely be in the description. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right, we thought that was interesting. <laughs> that is that's hilarious. Steven Seagal is a singer. Hmm. And you know, also... Not only does he kick ass, but he sings. Hey, he does it all. He's fucking, yeah, yeah. He's a man of... He's Jack a superstar. Of all trade. He's, he's like that black guy who swim across that river. What? What? It's <laughs> like that black guy that one time who swam across you guys, you that see river. That, you guys didn't see that viral video of fucking the Mississippi fight or something like that? Boardwalk fight? No? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the, the fucking black the dude who jumps family into the river jumps and then swimming across. Bro. Yeah, that was in Alabama. I don't fucking know where it is. Where does black, black people live? Black guy swimming across Everywhere. the river. <laughs> what do you mean? Where do, you think they're just all singled in one state? <laughs> I mean, black you go to Mississippi, in state, one state. You go to Mississippi or Alabama, you find a lot of them. <laughs> Jesus. It's pretty dark out there, if you ask me. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. I'm bro. sorry. Was that a, a little too much? That yeah, was. Well, Oh. Just fucking leave, Dustin. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sick of your ass. All right, let's go. Hey, let's go into to, to Dylan's rando. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it to it. Dylan's rando. Bring on those facts. Okay, so your legs do some weird sh- things, man. Well, it's really your your legs, your brain, and your eyes working in tandem together. <laughs> did I say? To oh, did I just happen? say legs? I meant your eyes and your brain and your feet and your. <laughs> <laughs> but you you it is you will not walk in a straight line unless you have some kind of guiding object that you are looking at. So you have to. Focus on something in front of you to walk in a straight line? Yeah, like the star or the moon or, you know, like a building or something. Because if not, then your body naturally sways. You know what I mean? Curves. You don't ever walk I guess in a straight it, line. I guess it makes sense because if you shut your eyes, it's, you, it's pretty hard to walk in a straight line. Mm-hmm. And you don't even realize you're doing it, but you're slowly veering 
from being straight. That's how, like, when most people get lost, you know, they're, they just go in circles. Go in circles. Because you think you're walking straight, but you're not. Hmm. Oh, yeah, that's why when dogs go blind, they just fucking chase their own ch- tail, but they're not chasing their own fucking you ever, tail. <laughs> you ever been walking with somebody and we you We went just stiffing their own ass all the time. Getting, like, closer together and then further apart than close, you know what I mean? Wait, what? Say it again. Ever been walking with somebody and you uh-huh. guys like you keep walking into each other? Oh yeah, yeah well, you keep walking on. into yeah, each yeah. other. It's because your body is naturally huh. pulling you. So we're saying you're saying we're like magnets, huh? No, it's not what I'm saying. I bet you it has something to do with like the <clears throat> gravitational pull or energy, something like that. It's, it's because it of photosynthesis it's... and precipitation. <laughs> yeah. That's because it. <laughs> primarily due to a. He just starts saying big words, <clears throat> and I start believing them. Slight structural or functional imbalance of our limbs, which produces a gait asymmetry, and secondarily due to feedback from our sense of sight, which acts to correct the shifted walking course. So we're we're loppy, is yeah. what you're saying. There's a bunch of loppy motherfucking oh. gross ass animals out here. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking gross ass animals. Hell yeah, I'll drink to that. <laughs> what are you drink to that, Brandon? You All just right. find anything to drink to, don't you? What's that? Yeah. I'll drink to that. <laughs> yeah. Hey, man, I'll drink to that. <laughs> okay. Uh, That's interesting. Is that interesting? Interesting. Quite interessante. That interesante. interests me. Interessante. Interessante. <laughs> Interessante. Right. So, so, surely that wasn't the only fact you no, brought it wasn't. up. Are you want me to get to the next one? Dylan. Let's, let's hear it. Lay it on us. Okay. So, within your entire lifetime, you know, which this number is by far much greater for Brandon, you spend an average of one year sitting on the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> but I think Brandon, you know, is about a year and a half. That is a true Two statement. <laughs> motherfucker hangs out and I don't know what he does, but he, he likes to take his time in there. You got to empty the whole tank, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Yep, sometimes you do. He's a bathroom Both connoisseur. Tanks. It sounds like you need to go to the doctor. You got problems shitting. Oh, I have no problem. Yeah, he shits really quick. It's just when he's beaten off, it just takes a long time. <laughs> he's a bathroom connoisseur. He's kind of yeah. sore after the using the bathroom. I'm in there. Might as well empty all tanks. Yeah. Nice. I like it. You got to keep those. I like in. to go through life with post-nut clarity. Okay. Is that what it is? I thought you just like to keep everything empty like your head. You said the average time <laughs> they spend on the toilet is what again? Dylan? The, the <laughs> average time they spend on the toilet on average, a, a person spends about a year of their life on the toilet, like in over their, their whole life lifetime. lifetime. That checks out, I would think. But it, I mean, being on the toilet is a part of life. Yes. So just you know. be a man and shit in the woods. <laughs> yeah. Just be a man and shit your fucking pants. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not shit in the woods. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nah. Oh. Do it like, Man down. like the ancestries did it. Our ancestors. Ancestries. <laughs> they shit in a bucket in their house and poured it out the window. Oh, yeah. Mm. Freedom. Freedom! They did, like, I was told they did do that, but it was like, that's fucked up, man, just walking through the streets. Like, back then, you could not walk through shit. They and got ports on the side of castles. Yeah. That, that was their plumbing. It was just... Dropped down the wall. Rolled right through this little opening on the side. Yeah, it literally just rolled down the fucking side of the castle. <laughs> so it's funny because, you know, in mo- in movies and especially in Disney movies, you know. How they, pristine the castles they, are. Yeah, they portray the castles to be like, oh, like it's royalty, you know, and like it's everything's all nice and crisp and everything. No, But in castles, reality, it was disgusting. Castles were fucking, well, you know, just like anything. I guess it comparatively to how people who didn't live in the castle had to live. It was really good, but it was a much better lifestyle if you, if yeah, you weren't like compa- yeah. you know in that lifetime. Weren't comparing the life within the castle. Yeah, it was the castles were disgusting. Yeah, I would, I would say 
living back then, it was pretty disgusting. You know what I mean? Because, yeah. like, if you were, like, in a high, like, area with, like, a lot of people, you're going to have to deal with fucking some human feces every once in a while, you know? Like, how often do you think, like, people got, like, just, like, throwing piss out their window and just fucking somebody just walking by taking that to the face? All the time. They used, they would literally empty out, out their chamber pots. Well, they would wait for them. They would wait for them to come walking. Target. <laughs> yeah, that is true. That's why people walk down who the wants, road. Who just wants to them. waste their piss on nothing? Give yeah. me a target to aim for. Make me feel good about myself. And the half of them would throw it out the window. The other half would drink it. No, nah, I'm just kidding. I made that up. They say you can only drink your piss like three times before you die. Who I don't know they, if that's a fact. That? Who's that? I don't know. I heard it somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> I don't even remember yeah, where I heard it. Two or three times before it just becomes completely toxic to you. Yeah. All right. Hey, uh, this is where we... we all leave. right, guys. If you guys like all this scientific shit that we're speaking on the podcast, go support the Patreon. <laughs> Follow us on Instagram. Like and subscribe, hit that notification button so you're notified every time we release a new episode. That's about it. Peace. And Dustin's launching his new rap career as uh, MC Saturated Fats. That'll be coming. And don't be a holy five stars. Thank you for listening to the Ramscallions podcast. <laughs>